to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on this particular makeup look and as by the title it's using the new or the newly relaunched Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Um, today in Mecca in Australia the whole new Sweet Peach collection is launching so I thought I would be I would do a video using the palette. Um, I got this on the very first round that it came out on. I've also used the blush that's actually in the um, new collection. So let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see, I have done my brows already and I've also done a couple of other little bits and pieces to save time on this video because you've seen me do a few of these things quite a number of times in all of my videos. So I've primed my face and I have used the Clara Zero Pores Primer. Um, this is only new, I only got it last week, so I'm still testing it out. It's very, very silicone-y. Um, I used it on the weekend with the same foundation that I'm using today. It seemed to go okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's fantastic for, like, I wouldn't say I've got zero pores, but it's a really nice primer, so I'm still in the process of testing it out. When it first goes on, you sort of have to rub it in, then pat it into your skin. Um, it does feel quite slippy and oily on the skin, but then within a couple of minutes, your skin feels really nice and soft and dry sort of feeling. Um, so yeah, so far so good. I prime my eyes with my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This is a bit of a no-brainer, it's nice and easy. Um, yeah, so I pop that all over. And for my brows, I've used my Benefit Browser Go Go. So this is very similar to the Benefit Browsings. It's just um, an older one, that's all. So I've used to use the lighter sort of brow powder sort of through the front part of my brow the darker brow powder through sort of the tail and then I've also used this sort of highlighty shade just on sort of the arch of my brow. And then it's all set into place with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark. Yes, medium dark. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Um, this is being re-released today at Mecca along with um, some other products that are going in with their Sweet Peach collection. So I thought it'd be nice to do a tutorial because I don't actually think I've done one yet. So let's get straight into it. Hey, and I wanted to do sort of a real blown out, hazy, smoky eye, but not too smoky either. Um, yeah, and I really wanted to stick to those real peachy tones in the actual palette so as you can tell I haven't done my foundation yet because um, I didn't want any fallout wrecking my foundation so let's zoom in and get straight into the video hey okay, so I'm gonna put white peach all over the lid um, sort of mainly focusing it sort of the, through the crease area just to help with transition colors next color I'm going to use is Georgia which is sort of like a light sort of matte peach color and this is just going to be sort of through the crease as my transitional type of color um, it's not going to be too neat about this and I'm also going to run this um, from sort of the lower lash line up to create the base of how I want the shape of my eyeshadow as well because I have quite hooded eyes I'm really just trying to look straight ahead and run that sort of color so that it can actually be seen above the crease. I'm not actually putting it right into the crease. I quickly go in and line my tight line and my waterline with my Eye of Oris Smoky Black Goddess Pencil. The next shade that I'm going to go into is this one here, which is called Puree, which is sort of a nice warm brown. And I'm going to put that on a same, similar type of fluffy brush. And I'm going to actually run this all over the lid and then up through that crease. Now that I put that color all over the lid, I'm going to start sort of working it through the actual crease and blowing it out. Previous shadow. And then bringing it down along that lower lash line as well. And make sure you've got your previous blending brush with you so that you can blend out any harsh lines as you're going. Just picking up the next sort of warmer, more terracotta -y kind of color, which is called Summer Yum. And I'm going to have an angled fluffy brush and sort of work it on that outside corner. And now finally, I'm just going to take a mix of this Charmed I'm Sure, which is sort of um, a mid-tone brown. I'm 
into peach pit, which is sort of a darker purple, more of a purpley brown color. I think, yes, that's better. It's got a bit more warmth to it. Yeah, I'm also going to pick up a little bit of um, gel liner. This is the Smashbox Jet Set Waterproof Eyeliner in Dark Brown. And just press it right into the lash line. I did take off some of the excess and put it on the back of my hand as well. Just to amp up a little bit of the peachy Yes, I guess what I'm going to do is pick up a little bit of Just Peachy, which is this sort of shade here. It's a bit shimmery, a bit duochromy, and I'm going to use my finger and just pat it in the middle of my lid, just to add a little bit of dimension. And finally, just taking Luscious, this color up the top here, it's sort of a champagne gold kind of highlighty color. And just popping that around my tear duct. Tear duct. This color is pretty intense. So I'm going to just grab a bit of Bellini, which is this shade here, um, which is a bit sort of a darker pinky kind of color, and just run that over the top, just so it's not quite so yellowy. It's really picked up quite yellowy. And then finally just grabbing a brush and making sure everything's all blended out. Just to clean up any fallout, just a bit of micellar water. Don't worry if you create a bit of a harsh line with the cleaner, because I don't want a harsh line. But once we've done our concealer, we can blend out again to make sure that we didn't go too far down. So I'm quickly gonna spray my face with some of the La Roche-Posay Cero Zinc. This helps apparently keep my face nice and matte. It feels really nice. It's nice and cooling and refreshing. Just gonna throw some mascara on. I'm using my Longcomb Hypnose Doll Eye Mascara. Let's get onto the next bit, which is foundation. And I'm going to use my Smashbox Studio Skin um, 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I am in the shade 3.0. Now, I did buy this when I was super duper tan. So, it's on the weekend and I mixed in some of the Astralis Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops. These are the lightning ones and it worked really, really well. So that's just the concoction that I've made there. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some under eye concealing and all that kind of stuff. So first thing I'm gonna use is my NYX Dark Circle Corrector. And this is in medium. And then just doing a mix of the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in ivory and also my YSL Touche Clat. And I think this is in number two. And just going to set everything in place using my Element 2 Flawless Finish, Flaws Finish HD Powder. So before I do my under eyes setting that, I'll actually just go over and make sure that I get rid of any creases. And I like to do what's called lightweight baking. So I flip my little sponge over to the flat side and I basically just press straight into there. I'm not packing on heaps of powder to be dusting off or anything like that. That's not me, although I'm interested to see what that actually looks like in real life if you do bake. Maybe I'll do that in the video. Just grabbing my big sponge that I used for my face and just had a small amount of that powder just to set everything. So I've decided to use a few Too Faced products that I do own myself um, in this tutorial as well. So I'm just going to use my little mini um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I'll use this brush. It's sort of like a duo fiber brush. I do like using duo fiber brushes just to put bronzer and stuff on. 
Oh, did you hear my chair then? <laughs> Whenever I move, it like wriggles. So I'm not contouring or anything today. I'm just adding a little bit more dimension back to my face and just doing the exterior and a little bit over the nose because that's where the sun would normally hit. So for highlighter, I'm going to use my Too Faced Candlelight Glow. Um, this is a highlighting powder duo. It's so pretty. It's got like a pinky colored highlight on one side and a real champagne-y white gold. Well, it's not really champagne and white gold. I don't know. It just, yeah, mix them together. It's beautiful. So just going to pop that on a Real Technique setting brush. So just a mix of the two powders. Do you see how pretty that is? So, so pretty. I'm going to pop a bit of that in my inner corner. So for the blush I'm going to use is actually one of the blushes that's going to be coming out in the new collection. Um, this has been out for years and it came in a Christmas set or something that I got years ago. Might have been about two years ago. Um, it's this one here. It's called Papa Don't Preach. Papa Don't Preach. Yes, that's it. And it's sort of really nice sort of corally sort of almost a lighter version of NARS Orgasm. I really, really like it. It's absolutely beautiful. That's that done. Um, so onto my lips. Actually, before I do anything further, I'm going to go into a blending brush and blend out that lower lash line just to make sure that there's no harsh lines when we did a bit of a clean up earlier. So this is just um, the brush that we first put that first Georgia color down on. So lips, I'm going to line them first with the NYX Lip Liner in Nectar, which is sort of a peachy kind of colored liner. For my lips, I'm going to use um, two of the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipsticks. So this is Melted Nude, and this one here is Melted Peony. So um, yeah, I just thought that it might be a nice concoction. So. 